Hey, Igor, how is everything going? Way bad, Master. There must be some problems with the satellite, and I just can't receive anything besides there are some interferences because of the storm. It's always the same story every time there's a good game on the satellite. Anyway, you go watch it in the bar as usual. Igor, listen carefully, man. We are going to start with phase number one of my plan to conquer the world. First, we'll capture one of the lightnings and we'll demagnetize it with our indefibrillator. The electricity will come through to my monster and he'll get alive. If everything works out all right, this will be the beginning of the great army that will conquer the world for me. <laughs> Monsters will destroy all the army's weapons in the world. Meanwhile, we'll be saving the pieces of land I bought in Gibraltar. We'll set up a coup. Governments all over the world will be uncovered, and their countries will surrender to me. I'll become the first bad guy in history to make it. <laughs> What do I know, Master? I'm not talking to you, idiot. I'm just giving you the plot. All right? Everything ready? Yes, my Master. The time has come. Turn on the alkaline battery switch. Master, I think this is not working. Damn it! What went wrong? Are you sure you checked it all and there was nothing missing? You've been lately messing around with that stuff about taxes and I don't know, man. I'm positive, master. You stupid thing. You forgot to connect the indefibrillator. The screws are probably magnetized and his brain's burnt. You are dead. You are dead. Wait till I get you. I'm sorry, master. Shut up. I'll get another brain tomorrow, and then we will repeat the experiment. Are you going to bring here another place, Sanchez? I'll tell you that the laboratory is already packed up, and besides, they're all out of date. 
this time I'll get a woman's brain shiny and not used yet. <laughs> Good you are. Who's master? The feminist could hear you. So what? I'm the bad guy, right? So I can be as full of machismo as I want. All right. And if you say something again, I'll turn your hump back to front. Damn it. Bartender. What happened? Doesn't matter. I'd like to have a room, please. Room 512 upstairs. The keys on the door. Do you know what I can't find? The so called Draskula. Count Draskula? Yes. So what? Oh, nothing. The guy has a bad reputation over here. So? Well, there are all kinds of stories going on around him. They say he's a vampire who kidnaps people to suck up the blood. However, some others say that he's just a market dealer. And that is the reason why there are 40 parts all over the place. He's bad, right? He's good. He's not just women. He's probably both things. By the way, what do you want to meet him? Good question. Now, let me tell you my story. Look. Oh, forget it. I'm really busy. It's just five minutes. Just because I want to do it, not because you tell me to. I'm John Hackett, and I represent the British Property Company. As far as I know, Ken Draskula wants to buy some pieces of land in Gibraltar, and my company sent me here to negotiate the selling. I think I'm going back to my lunch tomorrow, first thing in the morning. By the way, be careful, because it just locks the pool. God, oh my Are God! You all right? Hey, come on, wake up. Can you hear me? Are you dead? There's no place like home. There's no what? But you're not Auntie Emma. As a matter of fact, I don't have any Auntie Emma. No, my name is Billy Jean. But you can call me BJ. It's shorter. Yes, so that's mine. You can call me anything you want, but if you call me Johnny, I'll come to you like a dog. Ha <laughs> ha! That was a good one. Aren't I just a funny guy, yeah? <laughs> By the way, uh, where am I? Well, Johnny, you see, I was here just ready to go to bed when I heard this strong noise down the corridor. I didn't pay attention at first, but after about two hours or so, I couldn't sleep and went out for a walk. As I opened the door, I was shocked to find you there, lying on the floor. I thought you were dead. I swear. <laughs> Silly Billy. Yes? I was going to give you the kiss of life, but it wasn't necessary because you started to talk. Shoot! You said something about a scarecrow. I was very scared, you know. It's a real shock when a dead person starts talking right. Oh, sure. Uh, of course. Isn't that right? Well, then I managed to bring you to my room the best way I could. I put you in bed. Um, that's all. <laughs> well, thanks very much for your help. I won't bother you anymore, if you please tell me where the door is. It's because the knock must have affected my brain. I can't see a thing. Oh, no, it wasn't the heat. <laughs> I just stepped on your glasses by accident. Well, that doesn't matter. I always carry on a spare one. <laughs> Ooh, wow! What a hot chick! I didn't know this! But uh, of course, I wasn't wearing my glasses. You really look good with those glasses. I know he's not my normal friend, but I find him attractive. Hey! Yes, yes, I do. Come on, hold me and kiss me too. Oh, 
I know this. Don't worry, PJ, honey. I'll save you from falling into his clutches. You really can't be mad, man. BJ's handbag. There's a one thousand bill and a couple of coins. This is a trick. Nothing came out. I'm all right where I am. of clinics and one still unused it's a blind man who can see hi there foreigner how do you know I'm a foreigner and how do you know I'm blind you look blind you're wearing that glasses like Stevie Wonder. And I'm not kidding. But yours are the like Woody Allen's. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know you could see. No, I can't see. But haven't you just told me you weren't blind? And I'm not. But if you can't see... Oh, of course. Just because I can't see, you accuse me of being blind. Okay, okay, sorry. In that case, hi there, sightless person. Hi there, foreigner. What are you doing in Transylvania? I'm John Hacker. You must be one of those characters who will help me out in exchange for an object, aren't you, huh? Aren't you? That's right, foreigner. In exchange for a large sum of money, I'll give you a sickle for when you might need it. Um, excuse me for asking, but, uh, Silas person, but what sort of job is that? To give sickles in exchange for money while you play the accordion? Shh. I'm a sickles trader. That's why I have to hide. Here's the large amount of money you asked me for. Thanks, foreigner. Here's the sickle in exchange. You'll find it really useful later on. Honestly. You better have had. Look. There's a piece of bubble gum stuck here. Hey, these pikes seem a little bit loose. I hope you won't complain about getting no clues from me.
Hi. She feels attracted to Uncle Desiderio. What's your language? Transylvanian? Even better. Uncle Desiderio's dead body. Who is Uncle Desiderio? My uncle. He went to Castle and never came back. Well, he came back just a little. If only Fawn Brown hadn't screwed things up, my uncle would be drinking with us now. And uh, where can I find Fawn Brown? He lives in a low cabin out of town ever since Drash killed him up. He's the only <laughs> one who could help us with Draskula and he doesn't want to hear about us. Or do you like that? Well, thanks and goodbye. Hope you sleep it off just fine. <coughs> really? How can you stay here all day playing the same song all the time? It's because I'm wearing earplugs. And then? How can you hear me? It's because I can lip read. Please, lend me the earplugs. No. Come on, I'll give them back to you right away. No, I'm not taking these any longer. Come on. No way. Well, goodbye. I have to kill a vampire. Well, goodbye. I have to kill a vampire. We better call fast. Who the hell is calling up this time? Are you Professor Brown? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm Ganymede, the, the, the dwarf. Professor Von Brown doesn't live here anymore. And could you tell me where I can... No, I, I don't know where it is. Professor! Get out. Don't be afraid. We'll be Draskula together. Me? Scared? Listen here, dude. You're right now talking to the only person who knows the secret to fight against the vampire. Then? Why don't you help me? You need to have special skills to fight against the vampire. Not everybody can do it. I got them! You don't have them? Yes, I got them! I'm sure you wouldn't bet all your money on it, huh? All right. Well, all right, come on in. If you really mean to face Draskula, you've got to be able to take all type of creaking and vampire-like noises. Is that clear? Ah, yes! Okay, wait a minute. Stand in the center of the room, please. Where did I pull that record called Nail Scratching the Blackboard? All right, let's get to it. You see, just like the rest. Just give me now the money you lost and get out of here. And don't come back until you're absolutely ready. Sorry. Really? Do you like this book? It has some scores from Tchaikovsky. What? Of course, I'm interested. Thanks God. I can play a different song now. I guess you can keep my earplugs.
All right, I got the earplugs on. What do you want now? All right, old man. I came for my money. Okay, wait a minute. Stand in the center of the room, please. All right, let's get to it. I have to admit it. You really got what it takes to fight against the vampires. Hey, take your money. I admit it when I make a mistake. Leave me alone now. I want to get something. Whenever you are ready to fight against the vampires, just come back and I'll help you out. What do you want now? Why wouldn't Rascal kill you? I understand he was a better opponent than me, but you have to admit that the discovery I made about anti-vampire techniques actually protected me. Ah, what is it? I found this immunizing brew that keeps you safe from any vampire's bite or against his frozen genetics powers. Great! You have an immunizing brew! No, no, excuse me. I had it once, but it's very dangerous to have it brew of that time. Can you imagine what could happen if a vampire got it? He'd be immunized against garlic and the social light. And... So I had to get rid of what I didn't use, but the scientific method of throwing it in the lavatory. So? Don't worry. I remember exactly how I can make it that brew. I need garlic, but I already have them. However, You'll have to get me some wax, bubble gum, and cigarette paper, or perhaps a napkin or something like. All right. Oh, of course, the most important ingredient. Leaves from a very strange plant called Fernan. It's a climbing plant which leaves to have magic powers if they cut with a golden sickle. All right. So that as soon as you have these five things, just come here, and I'll make the brew. You'll be ready then to fight against Draskula. I told you, it was just because of the brew. Can you repeat what I need for that brew? Remember, wax, nicotine, a piece of bubble gum, a paper, and some Fernand's leaves cut with a golden sickle. All right. No, no, nothing. Uh, we're just leaving. What do you want now? I have all the ingredients of that brew. Oh, all right. I'm going to make myself the brew. Just a moment, okay? Uh, just a question. What is all that about the Alexa Atelier? Hello, hello. There is a coven that gets you straight from the castle. Iga, the crazy Alvis's fan, takes it to get to the village every morning. Be careful, though. There is a vampire always watching over it. You'll have to get rid of him. And where is that cavern? There is an old well right by the cemetery church. It was used a long time ago for witchcraft trials. What happens? Didn't you have to go to the court? They threw the witches in the well. If they drowned, they were real witches. If they didn't, they weren't. We threw one once, and she didn't drown. I guess she wasn't a witch. Anyway, there, there, there's your brew. However, 
I only got to make enough just for one person. You'd better smoke it right before you fight against Draskula. But if I meet more vampires? Come on, run! She looked bad, but she really isn't, huh? No animal was harmed during the production of this game. Why? There's nothing special about it. It's not unusual. I have found a pine stick. I'll take this thicker one. I can't. Passage to towers closed for repairs. Please use main entrance. Sorry for the inconvenience.
That took away the rust. There is only one kind of flower in there. I can't. Well, that's enough for today. I'm going to have supper. Always forget to lock it, right? The hell with it! What? Oh, you scared me, master. I thought you were asleep. Oh, by the way. I took the living room keys so that you can watch the early morning cartoons without waking me up. Well, I think I can get rid of these stupid disguise. I could do it, but I just feel a little lazy. All right. Why? Yeah, it's you. It's BJ. Are you all right, BJ? Yoni, is that you? Oh, God, Greg. I knew you would come. You don't even know how much that every breastfuller has made me suffer. 
he brought me flying over her, and then put me in this disgusting room without even a mirror or anything. Yes. I'm telling you, and the worst part is that he didn't even apologize, not even once. Yes, well. Yes, I know she's stupid, but I'm so lonely. Johnny, honey, where are you? Yes, darling. I'm ready to leave, dear. Yes, well. I bet you don't have a pig lock around. Wait, I'm going to take a look. No, darling, I'm sorry. Give me a hairpin, I'm gonna play my giver here. There you go. It'd be better not. No way. Yeah, sure, man. Shit, it's broken. A werewolf! Die, you dumb devil! Are you going to let our souls be guided by primitive instincts just because we belong to different races and the social situation is telling us to do so? Aren't I a sense which is the most powerful weapon as well as the most precious gift? Yes, well... Oh. We all let our thoughts guide our way in life without leaving some room for feelings which let our free, volatile instincts come out. Answer me, if you know, Richard. Will you all be happier with Frank's emotion bounding? Yes, uh, well, I think I'll just go on my way. Uh, excuse me? You are not getting home. What? This is a very clear example, you see? You want to get through and go ahead with your adventure, and I will let you go there. Will that be a controversial point between now and what we have just met? To tell you the truth, on second thoughts, I don't really think so. Well then. That's a very cute desk. That's a very modern stick detector. Don't look now, but I think that a hidden camera is focusing on me. It seems like these screws are not much twisted. I could do it. But I just feel a little lazy. All right. I do not see the reason. There's no reply.
Why? I can't. It'd be better not. No way. It's empty. <laughs> you fell too. Now you are going to pay for daring to fight against me. I got take him to the pendulum of death. And so tell me, you stupid human, how come you want to destroy me? Why did you take my only love, BJ, away from me? Life has no meaning for without her. That's beautiful. If it wasn't because it makes me laugh, I would cry. Our girlfriend's brain to help me conquer in the world. Her brain? Yes, sure. I'll take it from her and give it to my Frankenstein. The world will be mine with it. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I think I had just enough with you or your little monster. What? You are dead, man. I'm going to... You really got me angry, man. Come on, prepare to die. Hey, wait a second. What about my last wish? Put that cigarette out now. I can't stand you anymore. Put that cigarette out now. I can't stand you anymore. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm now immunized against you, damn devil! This cigarette is an anti-vampire brew that Von Brown gave to me. So, does that brew have the opposite effect? Well, we'll see. Puedo soportar la tortura, además de crearla. Okay, let's see it. Iger? Bring me the CD scratching your nails all over the blackbird. No, no, por favor, por favor, hablaré, pero no me haga eso. Bueno, ya te he dicho lo que quería saber. Ahora libéranos a BJ y a mí y déjanos en paz. No way. The girl stays with me. You're staying there until the pendulum cuts you into thin slices. <laughs> Man, I'm just bad. Come on, Iger. Let's make the brew and conquer the world. Master! What happens now? Do you know what time is it? Yes, what? Oh, damn, the game. I forgot about that. Get the girl and let's go and watch it. We can conquer the world later. Why? J, ¿qué haces aquí? ¿Dónde está Drácula? Oh, Johnny, honey, thanks God you're here. That damn Drácula tied me up to the bed, and then he's going downstairs to see the football game. 
and as I can see, he has chained you up with locks and all that stuff, huh? Yes, it's true. Please, set me free. Well, all right. Do you have a hairpin over there? No, I'm sorry. I used them all in the tower when I was trying to liberate while you let me down. All right, okay. Don't get mad. I'll think about something. Hello? Are you John Hacker? I'm Dr. Thorn Brown. Yes, what's up? Listen to me. This is very important. It's about the brew. Well, now that you mentioned it, I'll tell you that. Shut up and let me talk. I just found this book about anti-vampire brews, warning against mixing the joint with any alcoholic drink before you. So? Alcohol reacts when mixed with brew, so that it cancels out its effects just in a few seconds. Well, thanks for calling by the way, this is not the case of course, but uh, what could happen if the vampire got the recipe by any chance? I'm sorry, but I have to hang up right now. The police is looking for me. They're thinking of course you. Stupid. Anyway, bye and good luck. Set in the world. Well, anyway, listen. Doesn't this look to you like a lot of crap to end up soon with a game? Well, maybe not. They ignore me. You, bartender. What happened? Doesn't matter. Give me a squash on the rocks. Come on, leave me alone and don't bother me anymore. How is the game going? They're winning. Who? Leave me alone, all right? I just forgot what I was going to say. Shut up. We're watching the game. You, bartender. What happened? Doesn't matter. Either you get me a scotch on the rocks or I'll play the piano until the game is over. Oh, come on, take it. That there is another man. He's taller, stronger, and he has also rescued me from Dracula. He has asked me to marry him, and I have accepted. Bye, Johnny. Please don't try to find some kind of explanation. You know, love is blind and has its own way. I hope there won't be hard feelings between us. Remember that I still love you. But only as a friend. I hope someone, you and your son of a. I really loved her. I know she wasn't much of a wonder, but nobody's perfect, right? Besides, she really had one of those great buddies that you never forget. I'll never be the same. I will shut myself away in a monastery and I'll let my love just flow. Nothing will get me out of this monastery because. Who's? Who's?
ABJ y no me creyó, se lo conté al borracho y no me creyó, se lo conté a Dráscula y no me creyó, se lo conté al tabernero y no me creyó, pero yo he visto duro, la gente no cree en estas cosas, pero yo he visto duro, mi familia no me cree, pero yo he visto duro, y yo para que él no me cree. Yo le buscaba una explicación, fui a Barajas, subí en un avión, a Transilvania, a ver a Von Brown, por si él sabía lo que había pasado. Pero yo he visto duro, y Von Brown no se lo cree. Rale al piano, Dimitri. Se lo conté a Heráclito y no me creyó, se lo conté a Demócrito y no me creyó, se lo conté a Parménides y Clipo, se lo conté a Anaximandro y no me creyó. Pero yo he visto uno, la gente no cree en estas cosas, pero yo he visto uno, dicen que no puede ser, pero yo he visto uno.